What's up guys, Matt here at MixingMasterMySelling.com. Today I got something special to show you. It's a new version of the Shadow Hills Mastering Compressor Plugin by Brainworks, Plugin Alliance, and Shadow Hills. Um, it's also known as the Vintage King Edition. So let's get in and check it out. I'll show you the differences. We'll hear some examples and see what it can do. Let's go. All right guys, so here is the new uh, Shadow Hills Compressor. Um, as you can see, it looks a little bit different. It's got red lights, whereas the old one had green lights. Um, I think this is a little whiter or something because it does look different. I just can't quite put my eye to what it is. But what it also includes is the new TMT modeling system, which gives you basically 20 different kind of sounds of the Shadow Hills compressor with the left and right, and you can switch the random channels and, and get different, a little bit different sounds of the, the way the analog would be modeled with a left and right section. And can be subtle but but cool um, mid side section which is a nice feature uh, this headroom which if you go this way with it it will it will hit the compressor harder and get maybe more some more color out of it this way a little bit less and actually I'll ha i have to use this once we get into some of the audio uh, examples you'll hear that I, uh, I had to use this to kind of get to the same sound of the old version um, or the other version i don't want to call it old because it's still super super great um, this is the uh uh, sidechain filter which kind of interestingly goes to 666 with the red lights i'm not sure if this is all intentional but kind of a devil theme going with this one uh, mono maker uh, stereo width which this is all kind of like standard on the new uh, brain works and plugin alliance uh, plugins um, and then lastly which is cool is as a parallel mix now when shadow hills released this on oh, i'm sorry when uh, brain works released this on on theirs because i don't know if any of you know this used to be just a UAD version, then they released it. They did add the mix knob here and the sidechain filter, which does go up to 666. So maybe there isn't a devil theme here. Um, but that was a really cool feature added to this one from the UAD version, which I've been using for years. Um, so as far as the audio goes, there are a few differences. There are actually quite a few differences between these two, and you'll hear it in the sound. Um, this one has what they're saying is an updated Class A discrete compression section. Um, Lundahl input transformers, and it was hand wired. With, each compressor was hand wired with a Mogami tape cable. So if you know anything about Mogami cables, they're good cables, um, pretty well respected in the pro audio industry. Now, before I learned, I didn't read the manual. I just played with this with these drums for a while before I actually like tried to read up on what was different. Um, my impression was it sounds a bit cleaner than the old one. Um, just it doesn't sound quite so compressed and, and that could be a good thing or a bad thing depending what you're going for. Um, but what's really cool about it is it kind of gives you two different flavors of the Shadow Hills, which is, is nice to have now. Um, but you will notice that it is a bit cleaner and it does hit differently than the old one. So I'll show you what I had to do. I was trying, what I tried to do was get close to what my usual sound is. Now this is, um, I use the Shadow Hills on my drum bus all the time. And I usually use this drum aggressive compression setting here and then tweak to taste. Sometimes we'll hit it a little less in the attack. So the transients cut through more. Sometimes I switch up the optical on and on and on. It can all change. But I always start off usually on the drum aggressive comp, comp right? So if you listen to this example we got, and then let's put this drum aggressive comp now. Um, if you listen to the example you, we got and look at the meters, you'll see how much it's kind of hitting just so you can get an idea. So that's the sound of the older Brainworks Shadow Hills compressor. Um, and now you can see I was turning it on and off with the bypass. Now, if I go to the drum aggressive here, first thing I noticed was the transformers are set differently. And I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it did give it a different sound right at the bat. So let's take a listen to this. So if you notice, this one isn't even moving. Um, you can hear a little compression, but you're not really noticing much. So I found that there was quite a bit difference in the headroom and, and maybe just the way the circuits are, are interacting with each other. So 
I had to kind of create my own setting to get to somewhat close as this one. But as you'll notice or, or come to your own conclusion, to me it sounds a little bit cleaner and I, I like it. It's not like I like one more than the other. It's just a different sound. And what I might end up doing is maybe using this one when I need a cleaner sound on some like ballady stuff or a pop record. And this one's still used for hip hop stuff. It's things I want to be a little more grimy. Um, so check out, I'm gonna play it and, and I'm clicking them here, but look for the bypass up here so you know which one we're on. I'll go back and forth with them so you can hear the difference. We'll start with the old, older one. So quite a difference, and, and they're not 100% matched, but it's pretty close, but you still hear quite a difference. And like I said, this one to me feels a little more open, a little more cleaner than this one. Um, so it's really cool. I'm just gonna play around with it and do a couple things, switch the transformers, so you guys can get an idea of the way it sounds. And um, here are some of the uh, examples here. So in conclusion, pretty cool thing, right? Um, it, it's nice, it's some subtle differences, but they're still definitely there. Um, could be cool when you're doing more straight up mastering with this thing where you want maybe a cleaner sound and that's something that imparts such a tone to it. Uh, but really fun to have different versions of the same plugin, right? Whereas, you know, we used to just have one plugin. Um, in, in, the, in, the, in the analog world, you know, you can, you can take a box and mod it and switch it all up so it has its own unique sound so it's cool to have a couple different versions of the same plugin to get different tones and maybe use them for different things like I was saying we might use this one for pop the other one more for you know a grimy hip-hop record so let me know what you guys think of the uh, the new uh, compressor and um, I will see you soon if you guys need your songs mix and master hit me up at mix and you can also get my presets there as well see you